Okay, so I finally got around to making the four-way at once flashing cable for my Nighthawk Pro 280. This uh, allows me to update all four ESCs at the same time using BL Heli Suite. Um, it was pretty easy to make. It's just four servo cables that match up to the four servo uh, extenders that I used as the ports on there. And they come to a 5x2, uh, so 10 pin pin header that I put together. The pin header just plugs into my Arduino Mega. Um, I chose to use a Mega for this because somebody asked me to. Um, I had actually originally planned on using a Nano that I bought just for doing this video because the Nano is only $5 on eBay for a uh, Chinese clone. Uh, the problem with the Nanos is this FTDI chip that lets it have the built-in USB. A lot of them use counterfeit FTDI chips that fail or don't work reliably, or they use a different chip that works like an FTDI but requires goofy drivers that are hard to find in another language, and yeah. So, you know, it, it's a good way to go for five bucks. You could do this with an Arduino Nano, if you really wanted to, but you'd have to have an FTDI adapter to go on the on the Nano to get your USB to connect to the computer, and that just starts getting clunky. So I'm going to use the Mega because I like the Megas. They've got lots of I/O, which I love. They've got the bigger uh, uh, 2560 AVR on there. They also have a smaller AVR that provides the USB, but you can actually flash that and use it like an Arduino itself. So you kind of get two in one. They're uh, nice boards. I like them. And they're only 15 bucks on eBay or from Hobby King or a bunch of other places. So the way this works is you're going to put all of your C2D lines, which are your data lines, together. And for the Mega, you're going to run them all to pin D50, which is this red one right here, third up from the bottom on this header. Your C2CK lines, one from each ESC, are going to go to pins 51, 49, 48, and 47. Those are these yellow ones, and those come one from each ESC. You also have your data, your uh, ground line, which comes to this bottom right pin for ground, and that just gets shared across all the ESCs. So all I did was I brought those commons together soldered them to one wire, heat trunk it to keep it clean, and then we just have to hook this up to my uh, to my quad. I just have to plug in the four uh, servo adapters. It doesn't really matter which one is which unless you want to be consistent and always have a certain motor show up in the same position in BL Heli Suite. So that's hooked up. I'm going to put in my uh, current limiter. And we are going to plug our board in, and we are going to switch over here in just a moment to the screen recorder so that we can see what's going on. I'm just going to plug in to confirm I have power to my Arduino. And now we're going to switch over to our screen recorder here where I have the Heli Suite open. My Arduino is showing up as COM6, so I'm just going to connect. I've already flashed it, but I'm going to quickly disconnect and show how we flash it. We're going to go here for the Make Interfaces tab. We're going to select the type of Arduino we have, which in this case is a Mega 2560. And we're going to do the Arduino 4-way interface. Say OK. And I'm going to select the one with Multi in the name, because that's the one that lets you do all four at once. So I'm going to open that. I'll flash it, yes. It's connecting, it's writing, it's reading, it's writing, it's done. So now we can come back here. And when I first wired this up, it didn't work for me. And I realized I had my data and clock lines, uh, C2D is data, C2CK is clock, reversed. And I thought I may have damaged my ESCs doing that because suddenly I couldn't get anything to work. 
what I realized was I was just being dumb. Um, when you come up here and you select your interface, I kept selecting BL Heli Bootloader for four-way interface. What you actually want doing it this way is the Scilab C2 four-way interface, because off of these headers we're using the C2 interface. So that's how we want to connect. We want to connect down here to talk to our uh, Arduino. Then we can hit check, and it's going to try and check the ESCs. And I don't have power on. I need to plug in the battery to the quad here. So we'll power up the quad. And now that it has power, we'll hit check. And there we go. All four ESCs show up. And really, it's that simple. Uh, we have all four. If one of, any of them didn't have the same setup, they'd show up as gray. Let's just uh, go to number two only, and we'll change our beacon to two minutes and write the setup. Now let's hit check again. And you see here it shows setup not in sync with the master. The first one selected is always the master. And down here it shows up as gray because that one's no longer in sync. Uh, there's ways you can choose which options get synced. Uh, sync motor direction, sync your max throttles. Um, I like to keep everything in sync for now. So we're going to set this I like my beacon nice and short. I don't need my beacon strength quite that high. It kind of sounds weird when I set it that high. So we'll just go to 200 and see how that does. Um, I have everything else here set up the way I like it for this quad, uh, which is pretty much just stock other than switching it to damped light. Um, and then I adjust the beacon delay down to one minute because I like it to be pretty quickly when I'm flying it and I have the beacon strength turned way up. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and write setup, which will write to all four. We got OK. And it's that easy. Um, that's really all it takes to flash all four ASCs to the same state. Uh, I've left programming by TX enabled, which will allow me to calibrate these ESCs through the flight controller. Once you're done with that, and you have your values, you may want to disable that. You'd have to come here and not sync your uh, min, center, max, but really they should all be the same anyway at that point, so it shouldn't really matter. But it's just that easy, and uh, the cable was, you know, 15-20 minutes to wire it together, but very worth it because now I just plug it in and I can make changes to all four ESCs at once. So hope you like it. Uh, of course, thumbs up if you do. Leave me comments. I'd like to reply to them, and I do respond to them. For example, I use the Mega instead of the Nano because a comment asked me to. So I do listen, and I appreciate everybody who watches, uh, and that's what keeps me making more videos. Hope this is helpful.